welcome to St. Bridget's Cathedral, Kildare. My name is Kelly Birmingham and I'm employed here as Pioneer Evangelist working with the Kildare Centre of Mission with Reverend Philip McKinley as Lead Evangelist and outreaching to the community beyond the walls of the Cathedral site. This location is 800 years old, built in stone construction in 1223 by Bishop Ralph of Bristol, who is interred in the sanctuary here in the Cathedral. Um, the wooden construction was predated and actually goes back to when St. Bridget founded this site in 480 AD. And you can see the interpretation of what that might have looked like at that time. We're in the same footprint as this construction, but it was destroyed about 16 times over the centuries with various invasions. This interpretation is quite Nordic with the, the crosses on the gables of the building. On the south side of the cathedral, it was believed that this was the monastic site and the, the cloisters of the, the monks who lived here. And also the bishop would have resided here on the south side as well with some supporting buildings around. On the north side of the cathedral, we have the fire temple and the nuns' quarters, as well as some dining quarters and domestic uh, storage buildings that would have assisted in the daily living of everything that happened here. Um, there was a partition down the centre of the church, actually, that separated men and women from each other. And what would have happened on site would have people would have had a daily pattern to their, their day. Six hours of sleep, six hours of prayer, six hours of domestic chores, duties and dining, and then six hours of hard labour. And that was a typical day for a monk or a nun on the monastic site. And that would have been typified throughout the monastic sites in Ireland, in Dublin, in Clonmacnoise, in Glendalough and so on. So the light here would have been very much about sharing what was possible. Uh, we had a round tower constructed here between the 9th and 12th century, and that resides at the west end of the cathedral. Currently, it is the highest accessible round tower in Ireland. Uh, there are only two outside of Ireland, one in, Scot one in the Isle of Man and two in Scotland. Our one is 108 feet higher, 32.9 metres, and the next accessible one and the only other accessible one is St. Canice's in Kilkenny, and that is slightly shorter at 100 feet high. So it is usually accessible on finer days, but it gives an idea of what it would have been like to go up the six floors that exist within it. Uh, there are ladder systems with flat step ladders and balustrades on them, and the floors would have been housed, they would have housed grain and stores of various different needs for survival and that would have been to keep it away from the ground level for vermin, for animals, and then for invasions, for safety, they would have retreated into the tower and pulled the ladder up behind them. Currently today, we're very lucky to have a staircase to access it. So the story of St. Bridget is one that represents light, um, care of animals, care of people, care of the land, and all the things that matter most in a Christian life.